Hello guys, this is Rydon Academia. Today I'll be making a video on bank reconciliation statement. We already did a theoretical aspect. We want to see how we can make a bank reconciliation statement. Now, before we go into calculation, there are some things I will be telling you, okay? Now, in our bank reconciliation statement, there are many aspects of the practicals that we look at. The first aspect is um, bank reconciliation statement. Bank reconciliation statement when our cash book has a debit balance. When our cash book has a debit balance, okay? And this is the aspect I'll be discussing today. When our cash book has a debit balance. And this aspect also has two branches, okay? And that is when starting with balance as per when starting with balance as a cash book and the second aspect is when starting with balance as per bank statement So we'll be doing the A and B. Uh, in this video, I'll be treating the A part. Then in our next video, we'll treat the B part, okay? I want to show you how we can make our bank reconciliation statement when starting with our cash book balance, okay? And we can also make our bank reconciliation statement when starting with our bank statement balance. And we'll still be having the same answer. Like we said, it's all about reconciling the cash book balance and your bank statement balance, okay? So the first aspect of it, like I said, is our bank reconciliation statement when our cash book has a debit balance. That means our cash book, we are not going to bank. Now the second aspect is when our cash book has a credit balance. You see that in our next video. That means we were owing the bank like an overdraft situation. Then our third aspect is our adjusted cash book and how we can solve or prepare bank consolidation statement using our adjusted cash book. So for this video, for the sake of this video, we'll be treating this part and this part, okay? When our cash book has a debit balance, meaning the business was not going to the bank, okay? All right, so our... Uh, Format is in this form. We adjust it as bank reconciliation statement as at. Then you give us the month and the year. Okay. So for example, I'm going to I'm going to make use of 31st November. That's 11 20. 23. Let's assume this was when our bank reconciliation statement came up. Alright? So I'll be starting with, like I said, balance as per cash book for this video. So balance, starting with balance as per cash book. This is the format balance as per cash book. Alright? We, we, will, we will be putting in our balance that we got from the cash book. For now, we'll assume it's S. Okay? Then now we will add and if you followed our, our theoretical aspect, we did an analysis chart where we showed you what to add and what to subtract when starting with balance as per cash book. You add everything that was supposed to help the cash book increase, like our unpresented check. Now, unpresented, like I said, it means we gave check out, okay, we issued a check out, but that person failed to collect it from the bank, you understand? So at the end of the month, the bank does not have that. So for we to balance that account, we have to add unpresented check back to our cash book balance, okay? So we are adding unpresented check. Alright? Also, like we said, there are some money that people transfer to the business, maybe to pay for something, but the business was not aware. You understand? Like our credit transfers. People transferred to the business, the business wasn't aware. So to balance that, the bank already entered it for you. 
what you need to do also is to add it okay if you debiting that so we'll also be adding that to our cash flow balance we'll be adding our credit transfers and our dividend also and then our dividend is our profit that was paid okay for a certain investment so we will add we will add that let's assume this is what we have as our result okay then when we get here this is our result we will now less we will be letting on credited check on credited check refers to those checks that you receive from somebody okay you receive from your customers from your debtors they paid you a check but you are yet to cash it in your bank although the business has already recorded it in its account so now the bank already brought the statement so it was not reflecting in the bank because you are yet to bring in the cash okay so for that reason we'll be lessing our uncredited check we'll be lessing our standing order the order we gave to the bank to make certain payments on our behalf will be lessing um, our bank charges and interest bank charges and interest that means the amount that the bank is deducting okay, for the service they are rendering to us Right, so we'll also be lessing our direct debit, okay? We'll be lessing our direct debit, and we'll be lessing um, our dishonor check, okay? Dishonor check in the sense that the bank rejected it. Maybe the signature wasn't correct, or the amount wasn't sufficient, like we discussed in our theory aspect. So please watch our video so you can understand these concepts better, okay? So when we let, we'll be letting all this, so before we do that, we'll total them, and then bring that total here, and then we'll be letting this, and our answer will now be the balance as the bank statement. Alright? So this is what our format for bank reconciliation statement looks like. So for what we'll be doing now, we'll be taking an example and we'll be solving it together, okay? Please, you must, if you have not watched our theoretical aspect, please do so. If not, there's no way you'll be able to understand what we are doing, okay? Get to know all these things and why we are adding or less in them, okay? So we'll take a video, we'll take a, an example now and we'll solve this together. Alright, so for today's example, we'll be taking um, an illustration. On the 31st March 1990, Ogundele's cash book showed a debit balance of 2000 okay? His bank statement showed a balance of 2,270 naira. On comparison, the following were found. A. Checks drawn amounting to 1,500 had not been presented for payment. Second, a standing order of 600 naira to a club was not taken into consideration. Third, bank charges of 15 naira were entered in the bank statement only. Fourth, a dividend of 300 was paid directly into the bank and not recorded in the cash book. Checks for 1,000 naira were entered into the cash book and paid to the bank but had not yet been cleared and thus not credited. A customer apology paid 120 naira directly into the bank without notifying the firm. So we'll be preparing our bank reconciliation statement with this giving information, okay? Now the first thing we want to look at, like I said, for this video, we'll be starting with balance as a cash book, okay? So the first thing we'll be doing, after addressing our account, this is our... addressing our account first of all we will be putting in the date okay which is 31st March am I right 31st March 1990 okay so this is where we will be starting from like I said this video we are starting with our balance as per cash book 
So the first thing from like I showed us in our format is our balance as the cash book. And our balance as the cash book. Okay? Our balance as the cash book amounted to 2,000 Naira. So we'll be ending our 2,000 Naira. Alright? So this is balance as the cash book. Now, I told us that our bank statement showed a balance of 2,000. 217 naira. That is our uh, final answer should sum up to 217 naira. Okay, so quickly we are going to be taking all those. I will be adding like we did in our format. All right, so before I do that, we are going to look at that work quickly and let's work it together. Okay, uh, it said a check drawn amounting to 1500 had not been presented for payment, so that is an unpresented check. Are we together? So, and we are to add unpresented check, right. So we'll be adding our own presented check. Okay, so we'll be adding our own presented check, and that was amounting to 1,500 naira. So, alright. So now the next one, which is our B, said a standing order of 600 to a club has not been taken into consideration. Now we are going to list our standing order according to our format, okay? So that will be coming later. We want to see if there is any more thing to add before we start subtracting, alright? So we'll be keeping that B aside for now. We have our bank charges of 15 Naira, okay? We are also lessing bank charges. Let's look forward. A dividend of 300 Naira was paid directly into the bank. Now we are going to add dividend, okay? A dividend of 300 Naira, so we are going to be adding that. We'll be adding our dividend. What we want to do is have a proper record. We don't want to add, subtract, it will be looking scattered. So we want it to be array. So we'll be putting what we are adding first, then bringing in the subtraction. So, okay, the fifth one said checks for 1,000 Naira were entered in the cash book and paid to the bank, but had not yet been cleared and thus not credited, meaning it was an uncredited check, okay? We are letting uncredited check. Let's move to the Last one, a customer apology paid 120 Naira directly into the bank without notifying the firm. So that's a credit transfer. A customer paid into the bank account, but he didn't notify the firm. Alright, so let's add our credit transfer. Our credit transfer is 120 Naira. So we are going to add all this. So we have this, okay? This is our total. When we add all that, so now we can start lesson. The first thing we'll be lesson is our own credited check. And our own credited check, as we see in number five, is 1,000 Naira, okay? It will be lessing, but before we do that, let's sum them up, then we'll less them directly, okay? So we'll be having 1,000 Naira, okay? Now the next thing we'll be lessing, we had a standing order, right, from our B. Yes, from our B, we had a standing order of 600 Naira. So we'll be bringing in standing order. And it was 600 Naira. Alright, now let's check for bank charges. We still have the bank charges of 15 Naira, okay? So we'll also be lessing our bank charges. Alright, let's see if there's any more. Okay, and I think that should be all. That should be all, alright? So since it was six, there were six entries. So we'll total this now. Now we have total the sum, okay? Summation of this is 1,715 Naira. So we'll be lessing this quickly. Okay. 
All right. And if you look very well at our question, this is our balance at the bank statement. Okay. So if we have done that correctly. And that is that about starting with our balance as per cash book, all right? So in our next video, we'll be solving this exact same question. But in that video, I'll show you how to start with balance as per bank statement and how you can also arrive with your with the arriving at your balance as per cash book, okay? If this video was helpful to you, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Like our videos and share with those who you see helpful to. See you in our next class. Thank you.